Hi, this is Kai Weiner with Confluent. In this video, I want to give you an overview about how people and customers leverage data streaming in the manufacturing industry. Let's start with the basics. We have the edge, where your factories are as an OEM, and then we have the cloud, where your innovative applications are deployed in the meantime. Of course, you could also go to your data center. We are now imagining like most of our customers, you're going to the cloud with most of your innovation. The OEM has a lot of data that it produces, and this is still the shop floor level. So you need to get visibility into your supply chain. The problem is your supply chain is much more than what you're doing. The supply chain is really the end-to-end -end process, including your tier one and tier two suppliers and including your customers and B2B partners. So you need to have an end-to-end -end visibility into that system. How can data streaming help you? Well, most of our customers build a real-time control tower in the cloud. With this control tower, they get visibility into their own shop floor and into the information from the other partners that produce goods for you. All of the data is managed in one visibility infrastructure. So you have all the data that is coming in, but then the real added value is that you also correlate the data so that you can take action on the data. And that action can be many things, like you can improve your overall equipment effectiveness. That is in the end where we're still talking mostly then about OT data, operational technology. This is where we have built a lot of other videos where you can see, for example, how we do predictive maintenance on the shop floor level in real time, 24 seven with data streaming. On the other side, if you talk about manufacturing, we also want to have good sales to increase the revenue and make our customers happy. To increase the revenue, it's not just about the OT world. It's really about integrating the operation technology with the other side, with the IT world. And this is also where data streaming can help. No matter if you're just having internal data from your shop floor, but also from the CRM and ERP system, but then also communicating with your customers and partners again. So the real added value of data streaming is you can get data that is flowing from all these different systems into yours. And then you take the data, you correlate it, and you take action on that. Action can be really in real time, in milliseconds, like when you need to do low latency predictive maintenance on the shop floor level. But on the other side, it can also be API calls. And these API calls can be any kind of technologies, including standard web services like HTTP. And with that, you can use them not just internally between business units, but also, for example, for data sharing with your partners or customers. And this is really where the ease of use comes into play for innovation with a great time to market because you already have data flowing through your system and everybody can tap into the data in a controlled, governed way. And of course, secured with encryption and so on. And with this, you create data once, produce it, and then you give consumption rights to whoever you want to give it. And not everything here is real time, to make this really clear. We still all have data lakes and data warehouses. Almost all of our customers use data streaming to ingest data into their batch workloads, like a data lake or data warehouse. We have out of the box integration into that. The key difference now is with data streaming, the heart of the infrastructure is real time and scalable, but it's also persistent so that you truly decouple systems and every downstream application can consume at their own pace, real time, near real time, batch or request response. You have seen a lot of different examples. Data streaming is used across the whole supply chain and manufacturing, including your own internal OT infrastructure and IT infrastructure and connecting them together, but also working together with your suppliers, tier one, tier two, and so on, and also with your partners and customers on the other side. The heart of the infrastructure is real-time and scalable, and you can build innovative new applications or share the data with others in real time. And then every downstream application consumes it like it's needed with its own technology. I hope you learned a lot in this video. Take a look at the description where we share you many more case studies from manufacturing. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe to the Confluent channel. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Kai Wenner with Confluent. <music>